Hey guys, today I want to open up about something that has been a huge part of my life, acne. I struggled with it for years and it really hit my confidence hard. So if you're going through the same thing, trust me, I've been there. In this video, I will share my journey with acne and how I finally managed to clear my skin. Let's get into it. So my acne journey started when I was around 13. And honestly, it got worse as I got older. Back in high school, I tried to act confident, but the truth is acne made me feel super insecure. Every day I would wake up with new pimples and it just crushed my self-esteem. It even affected my relationships, especially with girls. I avoided talking to them because I thought they were just staring at my acne. I couldn't imagine anyone wanted to get close to me with the skin the way it was. I felt trapped like there was just no way out. I tried everything. Creams, treatments, visit to specialists, nothing worked. My face would swell up after procedures and I felt worse than before. By the time I turned 18, I was desperate for a solution. That is when I asked my mom to take me to a dermatologist in my hometown, Zhitomir, Ukraine. He recommended something I have heard before, Rokutan, also known as Acne Kutan. I was both excited and nervous. This was my last shot, but the side effects were quite intimidating. I started taking two pills a day, and here is where it gets interesting. It got worse before it got better. For the first months, my acne actually flared up even more. My skin became so dry and itchy that I had to constantly use the moisturizer. Emotionally, it was tough too. Rakutan is also known to cause depression and I felt it. I had some dark thoughts and even told my parents I wasn't feeling myself. And here is the crazy part. For the first 9 months of taking Rokutan, I didn't see much improvement at all. My, every month I would send progress photos to my dermatologist, but I was still breaking out every day. I was frustrated and starting to lose hope. By the time I finished the course, which lasted about 10 months, I still had pimples. And honestly, I thought I had gone through all of that for nothing. But then, about one or two months after finishing the treatment, I started noticing a difference. The breakout slowed down and my skin began to clear up. It wasn't instant, but it was real progress. By three months post-treatment, my skin looked so much better. It's kind of wild because for most people, results show up during the treatment. But for me, it was really delayed. If you are in a similar situation, just be patient. It might take a little longer, but the results will come. That said, Rokutan isn't something to take lightly. The side effects are not a joke. My skin was dry, my lips would crack constantly, and I had to use lip balm all day just keep them from splitting. And you have really got to stay on top of moisturizing, especially your lips and face. Another important thing to know, especially for women, is that you can't take Rokutan while pregnant and you shouldn't get pregnant, I believe, at least six months after stopping the treatment because it can seriously affect the baby. This is a powerful medication and you should always take it under doctor's supervision. Even though my skin is clear now, I do still get the occasional pimple, but nothing like before. My dermatologist recommended a cream called um, uh, Differin Adapella 1% um, percent, which is great for keeping this kind of random pimples under control. I'm still using it. And for moisturizer, I used La Roche-Posay during my treatment to keep my skin from getting dry and I'm still using it. It's honestly like one of the best moisturizers I have ever used. So that's my story. If you're struggling with acne, I know how hard it is. And I hope this video gives you some hope. Rokutan worked for me, but it's not a decision to take lightly. Make sure you consult with a dermatologist 
and fully understand the risks and side effects before starting. But if you are feeling stuck like nothing else has worked, it might be worth considering. If you have got any question about my experience or raw kutan in general, drop them in the comments below. I would be happy to answer them and help in any way I can. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye for now.